You know, believe it or not, most YouTube creators don't make most of their money from mid-roll ads. Well, at least I don't. They make their money from advertisements. Direct advertisements between companies and content creators is the backbone of YouTube and is the reason why a lot of large content creators today can do some of the videos that they do. Now, when a content creator is choosing a company to get sponsored by, they usually try to pick a sponsorship that will best fit their audience and they will try to promote a product that they think their audience is most likely to buy. So if I got an offer to promote an anti hair loss cream or gaming chairs, I would probably be more likely to promote the gaming chairs because I assume most of the people watching me right now are gamers. Now, usually when a content creator takes an advertisement, you don't really expect to get backlash for the advertisement unless it's some type of crypto scam or obviously a scam advertisement. You usually don't get criticism for an advertisement. Most people are actually supportive of content creators getting advertisements. It's our boy getting that bag. However, in this video, I'd like to talk about one of the most interesting instances of a sponsorship backfiring completely for the creator specifically. This is a scenario that I've never seen happen before. And this entire situation that I'm going to talk about today in this video, it, it's just a very strange one. It's a very strange oddity of a scenario. And I thought I'd cover it just because no one else has. I have not seen anyone else cover this. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Ant Venom Soylent advertisement and its consequences on society. Kind of forgot who they are, so maybe in the video a short introduction on them? Okay, so before I jump into the sauce here, I have to briefly explain who Ant Venom is for the people who don't know who Ant Venom is. To put it simply, Ant Venom is a Minecraft commentary channel. He's one of the OG Minecraft YouTubers, I would say. He's been doing Minecraft content for like 13, 14 years at the time of this video. He's been doing it for a long time. He also hopped on the Minecraft music video trend and got a lot of views off of that as well. And generally speaking, Ant Venom is seen as a very respected figure in the Minecraft community. Or at least he was. On June 18th, 2022, Ant Venom would make a decision that would forever alter his Minecraft career and his career as a content creator in general. Because on June 18th, 2022, in his video, How I Got Infinite Render Distance in Minecraft, he would take a sponsorship that would forever alter how people see him. The sponsorship was for a product called Soylent. For those of you who don't know, Soylent is a vegan product where you can get protein. It's like a protein drink. And some of you guys are probably wondering, how did this affect Ant Venom's career? What the fuck is going on? Well, listen, I'm going to have my boy Advil explain the whole thing with soy and how the internet hates soy. And then I'll get back to you. I made a mistake of wearing a green sweater, so that really means that uh, Z-Man can put whatever he wants through this, so fuck me. Now, if you don't know what the meme with Soylent is, let me explain. There's this term that has been around for years called a soy boy. It's basically someone who lacks any kind of masculinity in them. C kind of like him. And this is an insult that gets levied at people all the fucking time, especially during the anti-SJW movement on YouTube. So when the product Soylent came out, it's extremely obvious why it's so funny, especially with Ant Venom being the one to, to promote it. No offense, Hank, but you know. Thanks, Advil. Yo, everyone go subscribe to Advil. He's a great commentator. He makes great videos. But getting back to the subject at hand, this situation with Ant Venom is the perfect example of why as a content creator, a YouTuber, whatever, you should always keep up to date with meme culture. You should always keep up to date with these things because if you don't, you will get memed. This is a thing. You will get memed. And depending on how you reply to the memeage, it can definitely fuck you over in the long run. And this is exactly what happened with Ant Venom. Ant Venom made an advertisement for Soylent where he accidentally completely encapsulated the meme of being a soy boy, not having energy, you know, being not very masculine. Ant Venom would create this advertisement 
and it would immediately become a meme, just immediately getting reposted to Twitter and TikTok. There wasn't really a lot of hate going towards Ant Venom. It was kind of just people memeing his ad. And in my opinion, I think Ant Venom could have definitely played into the meme. And I think he would have been better off if he had played into the meme, but he didn't. He quote tweeted a repost of this meme that was posted on Twitter. And he kind of had like a moment where he like fully was upset about this meme. He said that he was getting tired with all the hatred from the ad. He said the internet has become a horrible place to exist. Now I will say one thing about this tweet. He says memes rule the world. This is true. I will I will give him I will give him a point here. Memes do rule the world for the most part. So he's got a point. But pretty much this entire tweet is just him soy raging about how he was getting hate for the ad and he was getting dog piled on and all of this stuff, which you could argue is true. However, on the internet, if you show people that something upsets you, they're gonna do it 10 times over. This is just how the internet works. If you say you don't like something publicly on the internet, like, hey, I don't like it when people do this to me. People are gonna do it to you tenfold. That's just how the internet works. And after this tweet, the meme was getting reposted more and more people were seeing this meme. And generally speaking, it was not a good move for Ant Venom. And to this day, people still post in his comments about the Soylent. If you go to his newest videos and sort by newest first, there is a 99% chance that you will see a comment about Soylent. It's just a big mess for him. Uh, Ant Venom at the time of this video has not posted in two months and you know he hasn't posted on Twitter in a long time. I don't know if he's quit YouTube and went ghost mode like this because of this meme still being prevalent in his comments almost two years later or if he just had burnout or some other reason. I checked Ant Venom's discord and it looks like he does stream from time to time. Shit am I gonna get banned from his fucking discord for this video? However the thing that hasn't gone ghost mode is this meme. In fact, here's a screenshot that is only a few days old at the time of making this video. This was sent to me two days ago, and he still doesn't really respond to it very well. It's definitely an unfortunate situation for him. Getting on to a more serious note, um, in his tweet that he deleted, he did mention self-harm. That's not good. Obviously, at the time of this video, this tweet is over a year old now. It might even be two years old at the time of this video. If he really feels that way, I hope he gets help because I think if you're willing to hurt yourself over what people on the internet say about you, especially if it's something so unserious like a meme, I think you definitely need to get some help. That's for sure. And also, I'd like to clarify, you know, I don't hate Ant Venom. I just wanted to talk about this scenario because I just found it really interesting. I wish this guy well if he ever sees this video, which he could. I don't know if he will, maybe. Uh, I hope he takes some of my advice. I hope he comes in with an open mind. I hope he doesn't fucking try to do some crazy shit to me. I don't know. You know, I think we'll be fine, but you never know. But yeah, with that being said, that was the video today. I know it was a little bit different from my usual content. I'm trying to switch it up here, okay? I can't just do a dupe every video. With that being said, next video is a dupe, hopefully. And I'll catch you guys next time. And if you liked the video, subscribe. Thank you.